Hello, I'm Steven, the Calculator Guy, and I want to revisit Popsicle Finance as part of our stablecoin series because there's a brand new pool that's super attractive, has a 60% APR. Uh, however, I want us to understand the risks associated with investing in the Ethereum blockchain given the high prices of gas. Um, Let's dive in. So Sorbetto on Popsicle Finance is the place where you'll find the optimized Uniswap v3 pools. If you want to read more about optimized Uniswap v3 pools, you can check out this article uh, from the documents on Popsicle Finance linked in the description. Um, concentrated liquidity. It's pretty cool. They do a whole video about it. Uh, the basics are liquidity will be concentrated in a particular price range and also of a particular um, ratio between the, the, the pairing and that will help optimize the fee yield you get from providing liquidity, uh, which is why you'll see pretty high APRs compared to like just a basic non-optimized pool, uh, like on SushiSwap or something with the same pairing. No shade to SushiSwap. No shade to SushiSwap. Um, okay, so the pair in question is down here with all the cool stable pairs. You get 25% APR, 33% APR, 15%, uh, 20, but then you get this whopping 62%. And the TVL here is already at 30 million, right? So you have uh, nothing near that with any of these other pools. But 30 million for this one and 62% APR. So we'll see how long this APR lasts. Uh, it's already at 30 million and it's been lasting this long, so maybe it can maintain something above 30 for a while, but that is yet to be seen. Uh, if you want to join this this particular pool, you can zap right in with any asset, but I would recommend zapping in with USDC. If you can, you'll probably pay less in fees. Uh, I would reduce your slippage because, let's say I want to use 0.7 ETH. If I use 1% slippage, I'm not going to be uh, getting as much value for my coins. I'm going to get about $30 more with lower slippage. Or rather $30 less with higher slippage. And I mean, these are stable coins with ETH. Uh, there shouldn't be a zapping issue. So you would click open position and let's see what happens. Cool little icon over here. And then we get our gas fee. So we're looking at a gas fee of $271. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reject that but I wanted to know that for the math. Okay, so APR is 62%. I'm looking at investing 3150. Keep all that in mind. So, initial investment, 3150. Uh, and then APR equals 62%. And the deposit fee was $270. Presumably the withdrawal fee is going to be somewhere around $50 because um, I'm not zapping. Uh, so it should be easier. It should be between $50 and $60. And then uh, there will be other fees associated with this. For example, if you were to... Uh, like swap one of these stables for the other stable to like to have both in um, USDC or to have both in USDT. That would cost money, but I'm not accounting for any of that right now. I'm just doing these two basic fees. All right, so let's do that. Uh, I just want to make sure that my initial investment is correct and that I'm not doing that wrong. So 0 0.7 equals 0 0.7 times, what is the value of ETH right now? Is it 45.15? Yeah, 45.15 pretty much. Okay. So just to make sure. Yeah, okay, perfect. So that's about right. Okay, so your initial investment 31.50 APR. So we have all the basic details down. Great. Let's build a quick little calculator. Uh, days, weeks, months year and we want ROI and then we want ROI in terms of dollars so we're gonna start with years because that makes it sort of simple uh, 
let's yeah okay so the ri for years is going to be again super simple for this one it's just going to be the apr but i'm going to formulate it anyways just because it's good math so it's uh the initial times the apr <clears throat> uh humbug times one plus the apr dollars uh, and all of that will be divided by the initial minus one I know I know it seems ridiculous I could have done that just by copying the APR but good math is good math it helps you with the formulas later so the other ones are super duper simple all you have to do is take the years and divide it by because this is APR not APY so no compounding involved divided by 12 equals uh, this divided by 52 and then equals this divided by uh, 365 okay awesome all these percents so this looks good right but we haven't really considered the fees yet um, if I wanted to look at ROI it would just be this times this and then I'd make that that and I can just drag this down cool so then the real ROI uh, we can start with the real ROI in terms of dollars because that's technically easier is this minus uh, this plus this and I want those To stick there we go and I'll drag that up look at that okay so the real ROI is going to be this divided by the initial uh, and let's do this and then drag it down here we go okay so check it out if you invested uh, 0.7 ethereum today you would still be at a negative real ROI in a month, which is kind of a bummer. However, after a year, a year, assuming that the APR stays at 62%, which it won't, in a year you would have a 51% real ROI, which is pretty good, but you're making a huge gamble and a huge bet on consistent APR. For all we know, this pool could be retired by that not necessarily but it could be um, or something could happen to popsicle any number of things could happen in crypto from here until then so you're making a pretty big gamble uh, that isn't to say it won't work out I'm simply saying that it takes a long time to find out at what point it will work out uh, so I did want to go through with this now <clears throat> if you got buku cash Let's just say you're investing a million dollars. You're making money on the first day. These fees don't touch you. They're basically nothing. Uh, the first day, there's a difference of 0.03%, and that's it. Um, and then, you know, in the future, it, it stays at 0.03%. So if you have a lot of money, these, this protocol, Popsicle Finance 60%, that's very attractive. There is no reason for you not to jump into it because the Ethereum fees are sort of irrelevant. Uh, they don't really apply to you. At least their effect on your APR and APY doesn't really apply, doesn't really impact you. So depending on your income level and investment level, uh, you're going to see this investment dramatically different. So let's just say you're down to something like $10,000, which is a large but, but doable investment for a lot of people. You're still not making money until after one month, uh, and then you're at about 2%. So in my, uh, it, it's difficult for me to say whether or not this is a sound investment. That's not for me to decide, but we have looked at through the stablecoin series, many other stablecoin investments that will have gotten you 2% um, APR in, uh, in a month right anything with 24 percent apr or higher will get you two percent in a month uh so 
take that for its worth and also you're not really relying on ethereum gas to stay the same or higher with that withdrawal fee also this isn't even considering additional fees like swapping those coins after you withdraw for something that you want to bring into maybe an exchange like kucoin or coinbase or binance etc etc and if you have two different assets you'll have to either swap for one of them first or withdraw both of them and then and then do whatever you will on your centralized exchange with them uh, so keep all of that in mind now there are still some pretty interesting opportunities on the ethereum blockchain uh, but i will save that for another video so as i mentioned and now that my youtube is monetized i'm going to essentially give access to all of my calculators that i make from here on out i think it would be unfair to give access to the calculators that people already paid for so from here on out everything's going to be free i'm going to make a, a particular folder that just has all of them that i'll paste at the uh in my video and I'm, i'll try to clean these up as well so they don't look just so um janky as it is now so I cleaned it up a little bit. What I did is I added uh, this little day so you can change the amount of days. You know, if you want to see if five days is worth it or, you know, if like 15 days is worth it, still no. Uh, I also added approval fees, though interestingly, there was no approval fee when I wanted to zap in, which I appreciate and uh, I think that was pretty cool. But I also added swap fees or other fees. So these are fees you might pay to try to exit your position uh, and, and take profit onto a centralized exchange or wherever you might take it, right? Some other fees that you will have to pay in order to, you know, retrieve the money from this particular investment opportunity. Uh, so there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to support me via Patreon, by all means, go ahead and join. Link in the description. But otherwise, have a wonderful, fantastic, phenomenal rest of your day. And if you're looking for Ethereum uh, stablecoin opportunities and you got money like that, this is one you may want to consider. Uh, there will be a video on Frax, hopefully, later this week.